What's cooking, my fellow Trekkies? Welcome back to A La Carte with Alex, where I am helping you cook up quick, easy, and delicious food one plate at a time. And today, we're going to be making that cosmic blue drink that is uh, a little illegal, very tasty, and, uh, and perfect for any cocktail occasion. Yep, that's right. Today, we're making a Star Trek favorite. We're making Rami Mane. Let's get cooking. Okay, so before we dive into actually making this drink, um, technically there's no real recipe. Everybody kind of makes it a little bit different. And we're going to take elements from the show as well as the Big Bang Theory and try to put together a great tasting recipe uh, just for you guys. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we know about Rami and Linnell, and that's going to help us build this cocktail. So we know it's blue from here, 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 and of course here. And another thing that we know about it is that it is illegal from Star Trek, the first generation, when uh, Bones actually gives it to Captain Kirk as a gift. Why, Bones, you know this is illegal. I only use it for medicinal purposes. So from Deep Space Nine, we actually know that it's not a sweet drink from the description that's given. Mm. Fair approximation, but somewhat lacking in aroma. Real cauliflower should forcibly open one's sinuses well before the first sip. And we know that it takes a long time to ferment. Now, don't be afraid. 2283. Yeah, well, it takes this stuff a while to ferment. Mm. But at the same time, we're not going to be fermenting our own drink here. So we're just going to kind of skip over that little fact, um, since I don't have a brewery or a distillery of my own. And then for Big Bang Theory, uh, which is a little bit more real world, we know that they sell it at Comic-Con and that it is uh, basically just vodka with blue food coloring. But I do have several bottles of Romulan ale that I bought at Comic-Con. Isn't that just vodka with blue dye in it? Okay, so first we're going to take a large shaker and we're going to fill that up with ice. Next, we're going to add about one ounce of lemon juice, give it a nice uh, acidity. Then we're going to add our blue curacao, about one ounce. And then we're going to do one ounce of vodka. I like to use mandarin because blue curacao has a kind of an orangey, uh, like orange peel kind of flavor to it. So this orange vodka is really going to kind of bring that out, give us a nice orangey uh, drink, but it's going to have that blue color to it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to give that a good shake, mix it up, make sure it's all nice and cool. Now I know in the show they, ser they don't serve it with ice, but I, I kind of like it. I liked it with ice. It had a nice coolness to it. It's a great little summer drink. And then we'll just go ahead and add it to our glass. Give it a good spin. And there you go. That is our Romulan Ale from Star Trek and Big Bang Theory. It's a perfect little summer drink. It's not too sweet. It's got a nice orange flavor to it. And it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's perfect for summertime or just uh, having it any sort of Star Trek Big Bang Theory uh, watch party. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below. Make sure you leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you've tried this before. Hit that bell and make sure you guys are subscribed. So make sure that you guys live long and prosper. Bye, guys. Cheers. Romulans are, but those guys know how to party. <laughs>